Right then lads, today we are doing another episode of Rate My Squad. You guys seem to really enjoy the first episode, so of course I have to give you a second episode. If you guys want to potentially be in one of these episodes, either follow me on Twitter or uh, join my Discord. Both links are in the description. Why not do both? Why not make me very, very happy and join both? But yeah, every sort of like Saturday I tweet out to send me your teams and then we'll go through it on Sunday. So, if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, smash a like on the video and uh, let's just get into it, boys. Alright, so we're starting off with a bang. Um, <laughs> this man has Ben and Ball Ball. If he plays on next, I'm quitting. That, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Ben Simmons, T-Mac, Danny Ferry, Giannis, D-Rob, Grant Hill, JR. Much love. Kawhi Leonard, Bobby Jones, Ball Ball, Ron Harper, Paul Millsap, and Jaron Jackson Jr. You couldn't have, sli you couldn't have slid like a Knicks player. In the final three, and they just done that for me. But regardless, this team looks phenomenal. So uh, instantly, we're starting off with a ten out of ten. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's keep the teams up like this, boys. All right, now I'm up here because uh, I was blocking the magic. Uh, we have Penny Hardaway, Bruce Bowen, Danny Ferry, Ball Ball, of course, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Good stuff, good stuff. Magic Johnson, Isaac Okoro, Richard Dumas, Wes Unsell, Jaron Jackson Jr. My man's running, Joe Kim Noah, love it. Simula and Kawhi Leonard. What's the reason for you having Sim and Joe Kim Noah? Like, I don't know, do you just really want to go tall in certain instances? But you do have Magic, so maybe you sub Bruce Bowen up for, I don't know, Noah and then Magic a point guard? If you want to watch this, let me know in the comments, because I'm <laughs> really curious. I love, I love this comment. <laughs> Not a single Knicks player equals minus 100 out of 10. I've told you guys well. So, current gen on Switch, working on empty my collection, so should be up to a million MT soon. Line lineup is very meticulously crafted because some drummers don't work on this system. Different story, I know, not just because this has been crowdsourced by me. But overall, like, if this is a, this is a Switch account, which is kind of insane to think. Switch accounts are, you know, as, as someone who has spent one hour on the Switch, it's bad, but no, in terms of like this being on a Switch account, I'm very curious how much you paid for this Karina Abdul Jabbar on the Switch. So if you are watching the video, let me know down below. But overall, I give us a solid 8 out of 10. Obviously, there is some improvement to be made as a Kokoro. While I do like him, obviously that Amethyst, it just don't look good, man. It just don't look good in the lineup screen. So let's just get into the next one. All right, I can come back down you now. Magic, Kawhi, Kermit, KG. There's so many dark matters here so far. D-Rob, Ron Harper, Joe Kim Noah. <laughs> Wait, so are you actually running Joe Kim Noah at shooting guard? Because that is a tremendous idea. <laughs> Andrew Wiggins, Lamella Ball, Pau Gasol. So, it's interesting you have 800k, but you're still running players like Pau Gasol, Andrew Wiggins. Well, they are good cards, obviously. You do have 800k to, obviously, splash a little bit. So, he's normally spent. I have 800k from your Contra method. Much love. Also, five diamond shoes, four three-point Grinches, and two uh, defensive Grinches waiting for the price to rise, and then I'll sell. Again, not a single next player, zero to ten. I have told you guys well. So, uh, in terms of like this, I think your bent, I think your starting five is really solid. Magic, I'm kind of kind of iffy about, but I do I do like him. It's just obviously not a lot of people do like him. Your point guards are a bit. Obviously, I don't. I'm not a massive fan of Ron Harper. I do like Magic uh, more than most people, but I think your point guards are could be some improvement. In terms of like this, I don't know whether you have Joe Kim Noah in there because of the height, but I think there is some improvement in your bench needed. Obviously, Lomelo Ball is a very good card, but it's 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 the same issue with like having running Amethyst. They are good cards. But it just don't look nice. It don't look nice. So I give this a solid 7 out of 10. And I'll be honest, I was going to give it 6 out of 10, but you do have KG. So I guess bonus points for Dark Matters in this, in this episode. But overall, decent team. I just think your bench could do with some improving. Obviously, Pau Gasol, I've never been a massive fan of, so I think there's improvement in there. 800k. I wonder, I wonder if you're saving up for that Ben Simmons when he comes down in price. Because if you do... Oh, this team could be uh this team this team could be interesting. Let's get into the next one. There we go. I guess I'm getting quite I don't know creative with these positions. <laughs> Derek Rose, Chris Mullen, Billy Owens, Danny Ferry, Mel Daniel, Ron Harper, Brandon Ingram, Billy Cunningham, Kermit, Dirk, Draymond, Bradley Beal, and Clay Thompson. Okay, okay. And Clay's on a uh, if you guys can see, Clay is a pink diamond right there because of a uh, cheeky dynamic duo. So. Of course, Breezy is a big uh, Warriors fan, so you can probably tell where all the Warriors fan Warriors players are from. But overall, I think it's a decent lineup. Billy Cunningham, I think, could be improved on because I'm not a massive fan of him. Mel Daniels, I think he's okay, but you have 800k. Probably splash that a little bit. Obviously, I don't know whether you're waiting for like another decent set to come out or whether you're waiting for these players in particular to go down in price. For overall, I think it's a decent lineup. Derek Rose, I'm not a huge fan of just because I think he is a bit small. So, I, I thought you would get the curry. I don't know whether you're waiting for that curry to go down in price, but 
I guess Derek Rose would be out and then Curry would be in or maybe Ron Harper. I'm not too familiar with what you're going to do there, but I imagine Curry is going to be in here soon. So overall, I think it's a decent lineup. The starting five isn't too bad. I'm not a massive fan of Derek Rose, as I said. Billy Owens, big fan. Mal Daniels, he's mid for me at this stage in the game. Mullen, I think he's decent. Ferry is, of course, still amazing. Your bench, Ron Harper, not a massive fan of. Brandon Ingram, I adore that card. Billy Cunningham is he's hit or miss for most people. Kermit's quite decent and Dirk is still quite decent as well. Overall, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Again, big, I'm a big fan of the stars, minus Derrick Rose and I guess Mel Daniels is okay. Bench, I think could do some work, but overall, I give it a, what did I say, 7? 6.5, 7? We'll, we'll say 7, we'll say 7. All right, boys, you'll have to forgive me, trying to figure out which pixel is who, but. <laughs> All right, we have Justice Winslow, Carl Culver, Danny Ferry, Bol Bol. David Robinson, Alex Caruso, Isaac Okoro, I think. Paul Millsap, was on sale, Jaron Jackson Jr. Very much a warp reality lineup. You have one, two, three, four, five. Five warp reality players out of your ten lineup. So, overall, like, I am a big fan of the cards. Winslow, I think, is very, very strong. Carl Culver is actually really good. A Carl Culver that can dunk is interesting. Uh, Ball Ball, obviously, on next gen, he's the best card in the game. So, it's mad that a pink diamond is the best card in the game. But when you have that card that can curry slide, it's... Oh, it's, it's naughty. Alex Caruso, Isaac Okora. I'm thinking you could maybe slide in a Kyle Kuzma in here. Because I think Kyle Kuzma, in terms of like how much he's valued at versus how good he is, is one of the best cards you can buy in terms of like overall value. Because he's a cheap card and he's a phenomenal card. It's sort of like the way, thing with Penny Hardaway. Penny's like, obviously he's a tall point guard. He can shoot, he can slash, he can dribble, he, he's fast, he can defend. So I think he could potentially slide in this lineup somewhere. I don't know whether I don't know what your reason is for uh, a Coro. Let me let me let me just check. Yeah, so Penny can play shooting guard. So I'm not 100% sure why you're maybe picking Isaac Okoro. Maybe you do the XP challenges, but overall it's a decent lineup. I think the, the starting five I think is decent. Obviously, again the diamond, while he is a good card, it just don't look pretty. But overall, it's a, I'd give it a. Probably a solid seven, just because Isaac Okora, while he is a good card, go get Penny. Penny's really good. He's really cheap as well. Go get Penny. Go get this little cheeky devil, Carl Kuzma. I don't know where he'd fit in this lineup, so have a look. Maybe instead of Millsap, because this Carl Kuzma card is genuinely amazing. So go get yourself a uh, go get yourself a Penny and go get yourself a Carl Kuzma. Alrighty. So when I said when I said Dartmas, I didn't expect this many Dartmas. So with Steph, we have Demar, we have Chris Webber. Chris Webber is small forward. I don't see that that often. Grant Hill, Shaq. Okay, I want to know how good that Shaq is, because he's still very very expensive. So. I'm, I'm debating whether to pick him up or not, but again, not a massive fan. I'm not a massive fan of paying, you know, stupid prices for cards <laughs> anymore. But yeah, it, starting five is phenomenal. Like starting five is truly phenomenal. Rondo and Harper as your shoot, as your point guard and shooting guard. I'm not too sure on that one. You're running magic and powerful. This is a weird lineup. It's it's weird, but I like it. I like it in a weird way. Like it's it's different. Like the starting five is quite is de is very much very very good. But your bench is just unique. It's got magic at power forward. I don't know whether you run Obi Toppin and over magic, but this suggests otherwise. Not a massive fan of Rondo. I like him in triple threat online, but I imagine if he comes up against a tall point guard, you might have that issue with, with in this case, whether, you know, you run up against a Ben Simmons, you chuck Grand Hill at point guard, and then maybe like Obi Toppin at power forward. I'm not 100% sure how you play like that, but in terms of like this Rondo, I'm not a massive fan of him, especially in the 5v5 sense, just because he is quite small. Ron Harper, I'd probably slide Ron Harper to the 1, Brandon Ingram to the 2, and then maybe chuck Kyle Kuzma in here, the new Kyle Kuzma. I think that's how I'd improve the lineup, but overall, starting 5, <laughs> starting 5, I, if the bench resembled the starting 5, I'd potentially give this a 10 out of 10, but I think the bench is lacking a little bit, so I'd maybe... Probably 8.5 slash 9 out of 10. So let's get on to the next one. Alrighty, I'm down here now. John Wall, Namar DeRozan, again, Kyle Kuzma. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Guys, go give yourself Kyle Kuzma. It's, it's insane. Chris Bosch, Will Chamberlain. There is one, two, three, four Dark Matter cards in this game. I don't even think I have four Dark Matter cards in my collection. So I think I'm slacking there. But overall, John Wall, I think you can improve John Wall. I think John Wall is still a very, very solid point guard, but at I think with the amount of tall point guards that are coming into the game at the moment, you could maybe get a Chris Webber again with Donovan Mitchell. He's, I think he's just too small. I think he's just too small. Maybe like get a Chris Webber, maybe a Grand Hill. Maybe if you can afford it, get obviously the big boy in Ben Simmons. But overall, I think it. it you, you have Ron Harper all the way down here. 
I mean, I guess if you have a, I guess if you come up against a tall point guard, you sub in Ron Harper instead. I, I believe that's how you would play this. I'm not 100 percent sure, obviously, but it is a decent lineup. Don't get me wrong. Carl goes my big fan of Demar. While he is obviously not the tallest of players, his slashing ability is insane. Like it's next level insane. Bosch, I think Bosch is a weird one because of how cheap Bosch is. People like pe people who think he's not a great dart man. I think he's okay. It's not like the issue of my, I have with Carmelo. I think he's an okay dart man, but of course it's Carmelo, so I have to buy him. Will Chamberlain. I'm, gu I'm guessing you got him potentially from uh, Triple Threat. If you did, that's a fat GG. But overall, I think it's a decent lineup. I think your point guards do need some work just based off of they're not that tall. But if you do enjoy running them, of course, just don't, don't ignore this advice. But I would improve it. I'd probably get a new point guard, just a taller one. And I'm not a massive fan of Ron Harper. So yeah, I'd probably just improve the point guards and just get him, obviously, a little bit taller. But in terms of the actual rating, I'd probably give it a 7.5 slash 8 out of 10. I think you're missing, obviously, some of the highlight players. Like, you know, your Grant Hills, your Ben Sim not your, your Ben Simmons. Your, there's not that many warp reality players. There's only like one in here. Which, a lot of the warp reality cards are better than some of these cards. If I just go to the warp reality set. Even if you can't afford the uh, Grand Hill and stuff, you can just get this Penny Hardaway. Uh, this Penny would be... If you, can't, if you can't afford Grand, if you can't afford, obviously, Ben Simmons, a Penny Hardaway would slot in very nicely here. You already have John Wall, so obviously the slashing ability is there. The boy has a 95 driving dunk and a 97 draw foul. I don't know, I'd probably chuck Penny in you. I, 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 I ditched Donovan, and I'd chuck Penny in you. Because Penny is, uh, he's solid, man. He's solid. We're overall, solid, solid 7.5. Alrighty, we're on to the last one of Twitter. So we have Chris Webber, Bradley Beal, Brandon Ingram, Obi Top, and Jaron Jackson Jr. Darren Williams, Billy Owens, Cat, Clyde Drexler, Billy Cunningham, Tyrese Halliburton, Draymond Green, and Clay Thompson. Okay. I like this, I like this three. I imagine if you desperately need points, you put these ones in. Maybe it's like a clutch, you know, 10 second thing and you need someone to score points. All right, so how is this team looking? So he's got Obi, instantly love. Chris Webber, big fan of. Bradley Beal, I was a big fan of, but I think with the new cards that have been added in, I think he's a little undersized. If we just go in, if we just have a look. Obviously you have Penny Hardaway, you can just slot in there. If Alex Crusoe, he could slot in there. Carl Culver, he could, he could easily slot in there. There's so many just, Decent players in this game now that can just slot in lineups. Like obviously, Darren Williams, you can chuck him out and get Penny Hardaway. Billy, Billy Owens, you, well, maybe actually Billy Owens is quite nice. Ignore my advice for Billy Owens. But overall, it's, I think it's a solid lineup. I'd probably ditch Bradley Beal though. I, I think I would ditch Bradley Beal. I think you do need a new center as well. While Jared Jackson Jr. is really good, Ball Ball, I'm fairly sure it's not that not that cheap. Uh, let me let, let me go let me go check. Yeah, my guy, please go get a ball ball. I, I'm, I'm surprised he's still like 100k, a 90k. He'd probably just go down further than that. But like, I'd, I'd probably get Jared Jackson Jr. out of there and get ball ball. I think your team would improve tremendously. Obviously, you do have 23k in the bank right now. But obviously, I'd, I'd say save up to get that uh, ball ball because I think that would make your team just even more stronger. Even if you still want Jared Jackson, I think Jared Jackson is better than Cat. So probably, obviously, get rid of Cat, chuck ball ball. Chuck Bobo at the start, and I think that'll improve your team tremendously. Also, Bradley Beal, again, not a massive fan of him. Maybe, obviously, try and get a Alex Caruso. Maybe try and get a Penny Hardaway. But I think I think there's definitely... There's potential. There's very big potential in this team. So, I, at present, I'd give it a 6.5, maybe a 7. With, like, Penny, with, obviously, the Bobo, that could maybe bump it up to an 8.5. We'll have to... 8 or an 8.5. We'll have to wait and see. Obviously, if you want to submit your team next week, by all means. But yeah, solid, a solid six and a half slash seven out of ten for me right now. I guess this is just going to become a meme of where my webcam is going to end up. But we have top mod. We have Cam, who is of course a top mod. Alex Crusoe, Carl Culver, Paul Millsap, Danny Ferry, Jaron Jackson Jr., Tyrus Halliburton, Bruce Bowen, Obi Toppin, Kyle Kuzma, and Nikola Jokic. Overall, I'm a decent fan. I'm a, I'm a decent fan. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I like this team. I'm a big, big fan of this team so far. Alex Russo, Kyle Culver, I think are quite underrated in this game, especially Kyle Culver. Because that boy, Kyle Culver that can shoot, that can run, that can dunk, and defend. It's a weird Kyle Culver. So, I'm a, I am actually a big fan of Kyle Culver. Paul Millsap, I'm not a massive fan of, I'll be honest. I maybe probably start Obi Toppin over Paul Millsap. Again, I might be in the minority of that one, but I'm not a massive fan of him, we'll say. I'll be honest, I'll probably sell Jokic and get Dirk. I imagine they're not that, I imagine their prices are quite similar. Or even just if you don't want to get Jokic, if you don't want to get Dirk. Go get Bobo. <laughs> yeah, as we just saw, he's about 90, 80k. I know you're on Xbox. 
But I can't imagine the prices are that different. Again, Tyrese Halliburton, he's a good card, but it's just that diamond just doesn't look good, does it? it, it, it the, the, the diamond here just doesn't look pretty, which is a little unfortunate. Overall, I am a decent decent fan of the squad. I think there is some improvements definitely needed. Uh, Bruce Ball and Wadi is a good card, obviously, especially with the new cards that come out. Shooting guards, obviously there's Penny, there's obviously you have Caruso in there, the Carl Culver's you already have in there. I think Bruce Bowen could be improved on, as well as Tyrese Halliburton. While he is obviously a good card, it's just the diamond tier. Just, it just don't look nice. I'll give it a solid 7, though. I would give it a solid 7 out of 10. Let's get into the next one. Alrighty, we have Hans. I am blocking. Let's go. Let's, ch let's chuck it in the lineup. Let's go. Alright, we have JR. Let's go. JR is point guard. You love to see it. Kevin Durant, Rudy Gay. This is the first Rudy Gay we'll be seeing. Uh, that I remember. Giannis, Will Chamberlain. That's a very tall front court. God damn, man. And Rudy Gay in there as well. Ooh, that's, that front court is delicious. We have Penny Hardaway, Malik Seeley, Bobby Jones. Well, now, I'm fairly sure you've said that you're starting... I'm fairly sure you messed me that you're starting JR because you know I <laughs> like Knicks players, which is kind of funny. Or maybe I'm thinking there's someone else. But Penny, Malik Seeley, Bobby Jones, Mel Daniels, D-Rob. There's two positions I would upgrade in this. And that's Malik Seeley and Mel Daniels. It's just... With the cards that have been added in, I do I think Carl Cole was better than Malik Seeley. I, I think that is the case. And Mel Daniels, obviously, there is the one, the, the big, the one card that'll improve Mel Daniels. And that is the boy, Ball Ball. So go get yourself a Ball Ball. Go get yourself, obviously, a new shooting guard. And I think this could potentially be a 10 out of 10. I would like, obviously, maybe check the, the Dark Matter in there. Maybe a Carmelo Anthony, but man. who knows, man? Who knows? Overall, I think it's a, I think it's a decent 8 out of 10. There's solid, solid, solid choices of cards in here. It's a very tall lineup, I've just noticed. Kevin Durant in there. Giannis in there. Will Chamberlain. Rudy Gay, I think, 6 8 6 9. JR is obviously not as tall, but obviously, I imagine Penny in there would make it just even taller, which is insane. But overall, it's a decent lineup. I think there is two big improvements you can make with this lineup, of course. And that's what I've just said in the video. So, boys, that's going to be it for the video. If you guys have enjoyed, please smash a like on the video. It would help me out a ton. And again, if you guys want to be in one of these future episodes, follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. The links are in the description. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Love you all. And peace. I want to give a massive shout out to channel members Waze, Hans, Lewis, Wallow, Casey, Magic Magpie, Michael, Mario, Kia, Hammer, Jack, Lindsay, and Josh's mum. Thank you guys so much for all your support.